Dan from Beautiful Gardens and we're down at Farm Farmer's Farm Park. And today I want to run through a few things I want to do now. Uh, one of which is uh, cutting back and lifting dahlias. So we've got a big two year old dahlia in the corner there. It's one called Mystic Illusion. Uh, if you were here in the summer, uh, you would have seen the flowers, the big uh, bright yellow flowers of the dark centre and the really jet black leaves, which is lovely. So what I'm going to do, if you come over and pan over, I'm going to chop back. There's two ways of doing it. Uh, basically you're going to cut back the foliage to about 8, eight to 10 inches. gone so first way to do it is by mulching now being that we're at a farm park luckily there's lots of manure to use so that's quite good the idea of the manure is basically it just forms a big sort of protective layer around the top of the dahlia and protects it from frost so basically you get two or three big chunk balls looks gross but it does the job So that's number one way of doing it. The other way is over here, is I've prepared it already. So I've done the same thing as chopping back the foliage. And then what you want to do is get your fork and basically dig in and try and lift the dahlia. Shake off some of the soil. Basically, it looks like a bunch of potatoes, but that's the tubers of the dahlia. So, see, these are quite a big boy, this one. And what, what we'll do with this now is we'll pop them in a crate, make sure he's labelled so I don't forget which one it is in the spring, and we'll store him either in a, 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 like a, like a shed or a greenhouse, um, preferably. So, the other thing I want to quickly go through is some of the other things to chop back now. It looks fine, but this ideally wants to cut back a little bit because it's just purely for wind damage. So this is a pen stem and Alice Hinley. You're just, you're just chopping them back, just a touch. Because if wind snaps off some of these stems, frost will get in and potentially kill it. By doing that, it's reducing the wing rock and it'll be fine. So in April, what you do then with the pen stems is you chop them right down to the ground. But we'll do another video on that in April. The other one I want to quickly go through is Rebecca Goldstem. Um, you can you can either leave it like that or you can chop it down to the ground. It's personal preference really. But being here at Farmer Palmer's, we gotta clear this ready for bulb planting. Uh, I mean, in its current state, I can't really get in and get the bulbs in properly. So that's what we're going to do for the rest of the day, is clear through this, prep it ready for bulbs, and that will probably be our next video, is how to plant some bulbs. Uh, so that's me, and I'll see you next time.